Within 15 minutes of leaving the stage, President Trump knew that the Capitol was besieged and under attack. At 1.25, President Trump went to the private dining room off the Oval Office. From 1.25 until 4 o'clock, the President stayed in his dining room. Witnesses told us that on January 6th, President Trump sat in his usual spot, at the head of the table facing a television hanging on the wall. We know from the employee that the TV was tuned to Fox News all afternoon. There was no official record of what President Trump did while in the dining room. On the screen is the presidential call log from January 6. As you can see, there's no official record of President Trump receiving or placing a call between 11.06 and 6.54 p.m. As to what the president was doing that afternoon, the presidential daily diary is also silent. It contains no information from the period between 1.21 p.m. and 4.03 p.m. Despite the lack of photos or an official record, we've learned what President Trump was doing while he was watching TV in the dining room. But before we get into that, it's important to understand what he never did that day. Let's watch. Did you ever hear the president ask for law enforcement response? No. So as somebody who works in the national security space and with the National Security Council, if, if there were going to be troops present or called up for a rally in Washington, D.C., for example, is that something that you would have been aware of? Yeah, I would have. Do you know if you asked anybody to reach out to any of those that we just listed off, National Guard, DOD, FBI, Homeland Security, Secret Service, Mayor Bowser, the Capitol Police, about the situation in the Capitol? I am not aware of any of those requests. No, sir. We have confirmed in numerous interviews with senior law enforcement and military leaders, Vice President Pence's staff and D.C. government officials, none of them, not one, heard from President Trump that day. He did not call to issue orders. He did not call to offer assistance. 